Hello. Uh, this, um, in this video, I will demonstrate how to do one sample t-test. So if you remember the air quality data set, it has uh, ozone continuous variable. It has, uh, for example, the measurements of ozone on a daily basis for five months. So in, in SAS Studio, we can go to tasks, t-test, and then you click on the data, um, the, you select the data, and you select the t-test as one sample. And our analysis variable is M uh, ozone. And then I would like to test if, it, if ozone equals to zero. And then I'm going to suppress all plots. And then run. Before I run, I would like you to see the, the code here. I don't want to test it for normality. Okay, actually, we can do the normality test, but uh, we actually know that it's not normally distributed. We just want to demonstrate how to do the one sample t test. So uh, here is the code. So I maximize. This is the code, and it, here is the name of the data set. And it's a two uh, sides t test, and the, the null hypothesis each node states that the mean is zero, none plots, and the variable is ozone. If we run, hit the run button, we get these results and we can import them here. If you can see, the results show that the, the p-value is less than 0 0.0001, which is smaller than the alpha of 0 0.05. This means that we need to reject the null hypothesis of the mean being equal to zero. Now, we can change in either in the code we can say each node, the mean is equal to 10. You can do edit here. Instead of zero, I want to test if the mean ozone is equal to 10. And then I run, and I get similar result, result. And I can also go to the code or even here and do upper one-tailed, meaning the mean of uh, ozone is greater than zero. Let's say, we know oh, actually that the, all the values are greater than zero. Let's say there may be greater than 15 and run. And we get the same p-value is very small, smaller than alpha. So we reject the null hypothesis. If we look at the code, so it's the size is upper. This is, it means that we're testing the null hypothesis that the average ozone is greater than 15. And this is how we do it.